Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm participating in a hop for red pandas. It is International Red Panda Day and we just wanted to bring awareness to them. And my kids and I are always all about learning um, about animals and I did not actually not know much about red pandas so it was fun to look through a bunch of pictures and read some of the facts. Um, Annette who set up this hop um, sent a bunch of facts to us so we can look through them so that was really nice. She is under Wayfaring Panda and she set this all up so thank you Annette and for my card today I'm drawing it out and I'm using my Tombow Monograph 0.5 pencil. Um, if you like pencil, mechanical pencils, um, this is an awesome one. I will have a link down below um, from where I bought mine. I do have a coupon code that you can use for 10% off your order. Um, because of COVID, sometimes the shipping takes a little bit long, but um, I it actually my last order came a lot quicker than I thought it would and their prices are awesome um, so take a look but these pencils are just they are so smooth they are they feel wonderful to hold um, there is more eraser in there you just have to keep turning it to pop the eraser up but I tend to keep like an extra eraser on my desk anyway but if you like mechanical pencils, you should check those out. Um, it's my favorite right now. <laughs> so I use that, and then I also use some of my Faber-Castell erasers, which those are really nice too, and they're um, a really good price point as well. So I just went along here. You'll see me kind of tap my phone. You can see a little bit of it in the corner there. I was looking at a picture as I was doing my drawing, to make sure I was getting all my pieces parts in the right order. Um, I <laughs> Disclaimer, I am not um, an artist. I am a crafter, so um, you know, I do what I can. I've never taken any formal drawing lessons or anything like that. Um, I'm kind of self-taught. I like to dabble in a little bit of everything, <laughs> so <laughs> please um, just know, you know, my stuff is not perfect, but I did really like how my drawing came out at the end. Um, I was a little disappointed in my watercoloring. I just, I don't know, I just couldn't get it exactly how I wanted it. Um, and in the end, I really wished I would have used my colored pencils for this. Um, but I, I don't know. I, when I use my watercolor paper, I tend to use the smooth side more, and for this one, I use the rough side. So that might have had something to do with, do with it. I'm just not used to that. This is um, like a no-line coloring because I didn't go over it with a black pen or anything. Um, so that may have had something to do with it. I'm not sure, but... <laughs> Hopefully you like it in the end and I'm sorry because you will see my son now and then swiping on the desk and moving stuff around <laughs> he just um, He's usually around me when I'm doing art stuff or uh, you know, I have him doing a project off to the side, so um, I didn't put everything in here like I said so I kind of bounced around um, I have never drawn anything on camera before I don't believe maybe something small um, so it's a little hard to know how to put your hand you know it's one thing when I'm coloring I'm trying to learn but drawing is a little bit more intensive for me so to know where my hand is where you can see in the camera takes a little a little getting used to <laughs> but in the end now in the end I think it came out good but um, I just, I had a hard time getting his face down the way I wanted it. And I think that's what happened because I really, I finally got his face the way I wanted it. And I really loved how it came out. And when I watercolored it, I, I used heavy color and I kind of lost some of my pencil lines. And I think that's what um, made me not like it as much. 
I, I'm more comfortable with my alcohol markers and my colored pencils first. Watercoloring, I just don't do it often enough that um, I'm not as comfortable with it, but I'm trying. I do love to do it. It's, it just takes me, you know, a little bit longer. And for this one too, you know, sometimes to make it easier to watercolor, you can emboss your image that way. It's sort of like you have um, a little pool that you can drop your color into. And here you gotta be a little bit more careful because you know, you're the one making the lines and it can flow to areas you don't want it to. Now I did a wet on wet technique where I added in some water first and then I dropped in some color on top of it. Now I did kind of paint through where I just didn't throw the water in and let it move. I kind of helped it move. And so here I'm just putting on my first um, wash there. And I just wanted color, like it didn't have to be perfect. Um, I Same thing with the leaves, I just kind of dropped in some color there. And I would like to introduce you to my foster kitty. <laughs> that is Mimic. And he's such a little sweetie, he's doing so good. He's about six weeks. And he likes to usually be on his back. There he is. I just wanted to give you guys a good look at him. But he was just looking. He's like, I'm on the table. <laughs> he kept crawling up my legs because for this project, I sat at the dining room table because my son was doing a paint by number. And he just wanted to be on the table with us. So he just kept crawling up my legs every chance he got. <laughs> so half the time doing this, I had him in my lap. So it's a little distracting, <laughs> but I guess you just learn to work in a distracted environment. <laughs> so I looked at a bunch of pictures of red pandas um, and some of them, you know, I guess as well as people or other animals, they not all of them look exactly alike. So I kind of just went with, you know, what colors I wanted to use and I kind of played around with it because I I had to mix some colors to kind of get the exact color that I wanted. So I had to mix some of my reds and oranges um, to kind of get what I was looking for. And I'm working on my waffle flower mat and I'm sorry if that pink in the background is distracting. One of my kids used my mat and stained it and I really don't want to buy a new one but I really do want to buy a new one because I like when things are white but we'll see <laughs> so but I am just gonna go along and while I'm finishing painting I'm going to give you a few facts about red pandas so I learned that they lived that they live in temperate forests of the Himalayas they are in China Nepal India Bhutan and Myanmar and one threat that they face is the loss of habitat and habitat fragmentation. And one of the ways you can help is by purchasing sustainably harvest wood products and items made from recycled paper. So we do a lot of recycled, organic, uh, clean items, not all of my items are, but I've been slowly changing things, you know, month by month to get rid of a lot of the chemicals we have in the house and get more sustainable and clean products. Um, I joined Mighty Nest or The Mighty Nest, and it's kind of a unique um, at home delivery, so I get it once a month and they send me one clean product and it's a surprise every month um, for one set price and I can try it out and see if I like it and then I can either buy more and they have deals on other products and I kind of like that because it it's something that I probably just wouldn't go out and be like should I buy that should I not buy that where should I start 
and it's really kind of nice um, and I really liked every product I have so far so um, if you haven't you might want to check that out and I also do like this laundry delivery and I think it's just called laundry sheets um, and it's just like a sheet. it looks like a sheet of paper and you just throw it in and it dissolves and it comes in all recycled packaging it's really nice and you know you're not lugging that big chemical container so and we recycle and you know we're trying to be as environmentally friendly as we can in this house <laughs> so we really enjoyed um, learning about the red panda and um, I had a really fun time drawing him out I just wish um, that my water coloring came out a little bit better but practice 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 right so Annette is giving away two prizes one is a $25 Red Panda Adoption Certificate. It will be emailed to you and you can pick your Red Panda out on the website. And the other is a $25 gift card to a cherryontop.com. She will pull a winner on September 26th. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my